back to doing, uh, something? Let's go back to the tower. Just want to knock off the series of, uh, shrines I've marked lately. I need, I need to get my- I need to free up my marks. My poor marks. And my next one will be a health upgrade. Imagine, having more than four health. Ha! <laughs> Could not be me. Hmm. Evil base in my way. I'm not here for the evil base, I'm here for success. They say dress for success, but you don't seem to be wearing any clothes at all. I don't know why, but the bull always seems really goofy to me. He always stands out so much. Oop, that's a, uh, whatever the bone guy is called. Ooh! Hi! Closest we've been to you. I'm not really currently hunting down the secrets of the dragons. I mean, if I saw an opportunity right in front of me that was really obvious, I'd go for it, I'm sure, but... This does not seem like it. There's another one. You can see two at the same time. Should I? Nadra. It's a terrible photo. Absolutely terrible photo. Does the thing look like a manta ray with wings? It does. What? This one's just called Light Dragon? The other ones have names. Wait, is that a special type of dragon? That's not the, the, the one of the three? Is, it, is that smaller and not just further away? Anyway, back to forgetting that the photo gra uh, the camera mechanic work, uh, exists for the next 20 hours again. It'll be fun. Ooh, timing. Ooh, timing. Thank you. Hello, funny bull. That always makes me think of Banjo Kazooie. Um. Okay, I am awfully high right now. Maybe I should take the opportunity. I don't think I'm going to catch it. There's a whole town here. There's the heart. There's the broken heart lake. To match the heart lake. This had some kind of lore last time. I think that's the town you can have a house in. Made a terrible mistake. Yeah, ha ha. Nope. <laughs> Is it apples only? Because we're going to have a problem if it is. 
Nope, palm fruit's okay. Um? Oh, it's you. Does that Korok variant not exist anymore? It's the cave unveiling thing. Oh, there's one in the water. You used to always give them an apple and it would... Yeah, ha, ha. <laughs> but maybe not anymore? Oop. Speaking of which... I guess this bow uses batteries? Yeah. Ah. Ah. Yeah, I guess it's a handy tool for completionists, but aside from that, it's just kind of like a an incredibly overwhelming amount of information. Here's every single one. Fuck it, go. Hello. Scoop it out. Well, that's instructive. Come on and scoop it out. Cause it's easy working over time. Okay, so get the ball in the place. There is many a ball to scoop. A number of options. I guess need one of these to be in place to complete the circuit. Whoops. I have not nailed it, as it turns out. <laughs> Maybe more horizontal. Do it, 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 do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Just do it. I got a bunch of them. Wasn't sure how I was going to get out. <laughs> Did not see the ladder before. Oh, I have plenty. Oop, it just broke off. Oh god. Uh... Well, that was single use. But I guess it worked out, so... Huh. Ah. 
I demand rewards for my actions. Yeah. Okay, so we are confirmed that there are smaller, more convenient statues that are not 500 miles from the local thing, so that's good. I guess we're currently in an out-of-map spot, so I should go for the local tower, which I think is that one I saw on top of the mountain that looks dangerous. So that'll be a fun, a fun problem for me. Yeah, it's gotta be that one. I think that might be pure as laboratory. This is like a fashion spot. They have dyes. Ugh. Someday. A second store. Ugh! Welcome to Kochi Dye Shop! Right, so, you're a new customer, I think? Well, I don't do the dyeing around here. You want my hubby for that. All this activity is going to be a problem. I mean, I'm grateful for the CC for our shop taking off like this, but every day is so exhausting now. You don't do anything. How are you exhausted? Yeah, if you want something dyed, go ask my husband. I'm just the greeter. Has this guy never heard of my husband? There's no way. You won't find a more fashionable man anywhere in Hyrule. He's got more style in a single sock than most guys have in their whole ensemble. He looks like he's not wearing most of his clothes, so... Well... I mean, honestly, I dig it. Uh, the, uh... How are you exhausted? You don't do anything. Okay, whatever. Oh my god. <laughs> that was a startling turnaround. If you were looking to add some color to your wardrobe, you found the right place. <laughs> Hugh, do you do? A little, little local joke we have. Welcome to Kochi Dye Shop, where we loved, li where we live to die. If you have any dye ingredients, it's 20 rupees to dye an item. That includes our service charge, of course. Let's get going and dye your get up to... Okay. Huh? Oh, that's a lovely paraglider you got there. Nowadays, not only do we dye clothes, we also offer fabric rework service. Bring me some fabric and I can rework your paraglider with flying colors. I saw it once in Fortnite, I just had to put it in the game. <laughs> you may be a first time customer, but that's fine. We have a special introduction to our, for, uh, our new service for folks like you. Ta-da! Your very own introductory fabric. Whoa. Have you dropped by the Ventas clothing at the village entrance yet? Cece, the most famous designer who runs the place now, cooked up the cutting edge design of them this fabric. Every region has its own unique fabric designs. Keep an eye out for them whenever you go. Think of me if you find some new fabric, won't you? We can rework your paraglider for it with it for it to fly in the skies in style. <laughs> Dying clothes to the color of your choice or reworking paragliders with some new cloth. Either way, it's just 20 rupees. Okay. It's the first time, is it? Don't worry, I'll do all the work. Just head over the fabric. Ordinary. Nostalgic. So that's the that must be the Breath of the Wild one. CC. The Breath of the Wild one does look better, doesn't it? Why not? Although honestly, I don't look at the paraglider. <laughs> I don't think I'd recognize these these patterns. What am I walking in there? Shit. That'll do her. Looking forward to your next visit. What? I guess one way to demo it. Why not? I'm a menace. Why don't any of the root why don't any of the pots make good noises when they break? Zero out of ten video game. All of the pots need to make a satisfying noise. You guys really over you guys really took this town over with this stuff. Was this my house? No, that- I think that was my house? <laughs> Not sure. 
Our little east wind general store carries all of Hateno Village's local specialties. Ever since CC Surf Shop in the place across the way, Hateno has made a name for itself with fresh fashion. Before that, though, we, this was a farming community from way back. We're a self-sufficient little burg. We eat what we harvest and sell the rest. I'll tell you what. You haven't lived until you tried a bottle of fresh milk straight from a Tenno pasture. Head on over to the pasture and when you get a minute, you'll be glad you did. That wraps up the sales pitch, I figure. Sorry for the song and dance, but I got a business to run. Anywho, you were saying something I can do for you? What's with the hat? Oh, this? Cece made it. She set up shop in the place across the way. She left a long while back to practice her craft, but she perfected it and came back as a famous fashion designer. Now see so fever is sweeping the village. You can't throw a rock without hitting someone wearing this hat. I don't know the first thing about fashion myself. My wife Amira cares much more about that stuff. Arrows? Pumpkin? Goat butter. Recommendation. The stuff he had. Salt, mushroom, and the exact ingredient that I need right now. Hey! Hylian rice. There's five total. Sure, why not? Bird eggs. Well, that's a chunk of my goal. Good day! Welcome to Nintendo Village! We're here for some sightseeing. The East Wind General Store is open for business. If you're here for Nintendo Village's famous fresh produce, you're in the right place. Or if you like this super cute CC hat... Then see your way over there! Haha! <laughs> Thanks to Cece, the village is the new place to be. She's drawing so many tourists, for, and our sales are going to up too. Cece's putting our village on the map. Oops, th there I go, shilling for the clothes shop again. I can hear Dad now. Just whose business are you promoting out there? Rah, 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 rah. Where's my house? Is Miss Zelda back yet? I think the construction company was around. They had these little, like, set up Oh, I think that was my house. But is it? Horse. Zelda's journal. After the calamity, I asked myself how to rebuild and set out across Hyrule in search of an answer. I saw collapsed buildings, lost cities, and damage was far worse than I had imagined. But was but as I watched the people and heard their stories, I was convinced all was not lost. The people's spirits were not broken. They, and their strong wills, are Hyrule's greatest treasure. They are the ones who will rebuild, and my contribution to their efforts will be to protect them while they do so. As part of Hyrule's reconstruction, we've built a, a school in Hateno Village. It's the, largest it's the largest Hylian village, with its sprawling, bountiful land. There are so many children living here that it seemed the ideal place to found a school. I've recruited Simon from the Research Institute to teach there. He was Puro's assistant for years, which makes him well equipped to deal with the needs of quirky children. Quir I don't know what phrase, strangely. I'll be overseeing the school for a while myself to keep an eye on the students. I commissioned Bolson, who taught taught his trade to Hudson of Hudson. <laughs> Who taught, his, who taught his trade to Hudson of Hudson Construction to construct the school for us. He seemed deeply moved by the request. This will be the final job in Hateno Village before he sets off on a journey. 
I had him at a secret room to my house, one that won't appear on the plans. It's dim, but humidity and temperature controlled, so it's very comfortable. It's proven very useful when I'm working alone and need to concentrate. Working on the school has been moving along smoothly, but a major problem recently reared its head. We don't have enough teachers. Simon is interviewing people, but he hasn't found a good fit yet. I'd like to hire someone intelligent, educated, and capable of earning the children's trust. Nurturing our children is an, is an ex extension of our duty to this land. We shape our future by, way, by the way we shape their path. I hope to see sterling members of our community come to this village and take up that mantle as their teacher. Nope. Oh. Where is the secret room? Got a secret room in here. Must be underneath or something? I'm pretty sure this was my house. I think Zelda took my house. Which is weird, because I didn't go anywhere, presumably, and I was here the whole time, right? Eileen Tomato. A fruit found wild, widely from cold areas to warm climates, full of nutrition and kind of trendy lately, used in cooking to recover more health. Well-worn hairband. An old, worn, simple hairband. Its color has long faded, but it seems to have life left in it. Wearing it in your hair makes you sentimental about times past. <laughs> Does it really just bring back his old hair? Very goofy. Cut. <laughs> Who drew these? Though the calamity is over, its scars remain. A mountain of problems stands before us even as we begin to rebuild. No matter where I go to offer aid, Link remains at my side. A kindness that has taken a visible toll on his clothing. <laughs> oh no, he's got exposed skin and shredded abs. That's why I've put an order in for the new and improved champion's tunic just for him. I just can't wait to see the look on his face when I surprise him with it. I'll hide it in the throne room so he won't find it until after our, inve our investigation. So now I don't get to have it because the, th the castle's evil again. Even he would never expect the torches are the key. Well. We have a clear reason to go to the castle at the moment. That's funny. Which is, I'm sure is comically dangerous. Do for me being bad at cooking. Yay! I'm unpredictable. I'm actively a problem. Don't trust me. <laughs> Dazzle. Enduring fruit and mushroom mix. A little bit of bonus stamina, I think. Sweet. 
swim speed up for 10 minutes. Eyeballs. Cook the eyeballs. There's two eyeballs. That just means it's good. It does not take much to make a good enough fish situation. Salty crab. Salty bananas. <laughs> I don't think I really have any meat. Nope. Spicy bananas. I'm gonna have so much similar fruit, you don't even know. Uh. Never running out of healing again. Enthralling gameplay. I like the episode where you did that one thing for a long time. <clears throat> oh my god. The only sorting is by effect. Okay. Poopy food. A number of, of mixed veggies in bananas. All right. I just always under collect items is the issue, because I don't like to sit here and actively try to grab stuff all the time. I don't wanna. Did I see something? Oh. Well, <laughs> now this is my life. Let's go. All right, buddy. Oh, I need to reach my friend in the smoke signal. Oh my god! Oh! My god! Okay, um... Any building materials? I beg of thee? Yeah, ha ha. Yeah. Anyway, back to that. <laughs> that locked eyes on that. I'm like, well, time to deal with this right now. Do I have the ability to climb a mountain, really? Um. Balloons, interesting. Steering stick. Some batteries. Oops. 
I need to reach my friend. You live here now. Oh. Okay, I had a thing involving balloons and whatnot, but... It do seem nature provideth. No, why would you? God damn it. The number of times I know what I want and then I'm like, yes, correct. And then right when I press A, it changes to something else. I'm like, no, why would I ever want that? Can I have flat land? Okay. Yeah, ha ha. Yeah, ha ha, take a bite of gum gum. Okay. No. Um. Um. Okay, so. You and me are gonna have to have a little talk about your attitude. You punk ass. Yay! I guess this path much, must go there, please. I guess this works, but what if I filled it with rockets? Definitely does feel like the kind of handed me this one. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> I'm okay. What? Yeah, ha, ha. You all right? I think that's the tree I started at. Not the hugest priority at that point. I could drive it back downstairs just to see if, just in case I need it later or something, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm about to just like continue talking to town, I, I think. This is the town episode, the episode where we're in town. I don't. I'm, whoa! Stressful. Okay, fuck that. Ve fuck that vehicle. We're not friends anymore. <laughs> mm. 
Yum yum. That's not. That's horribly inefficient. Let's see. Should I divert? One moment. Ubota point. My pacing senses tell me that I've spent too much time in this town and I should go to a shrine real quick or something. And then come back and check out another building in the town. Looking for green, yep. It's kinda out there. Elite Lotus Seeds. plant that bears these seeds grows near deep water. The roots draw nutrients from the water, which boosts the maximum movement speed when seeds are cooked into a dish. All these ingredient magic stuff all amounts to like the equivalent of like, what if homeopathy was real? You'll never believe what happened next. Oh. Um? What's up with that? Oh, it's just a, it's just a, ha ha ha! I've looked at it for too long. I'm too. I'm. I am curious about this weird. This weird structure here. We're gonna have to take a closer look. up a little bit in that I ran and then glided here. Oh, a whole ring was missing already. Mm. <laughs> Not loving my mental math right now. Also, I don't love accepting failure, so let's just punish myself by losing resources. Yummy! Wasted stuff. I could probably use more meat, but you, I think I figure you probably get it primarily from killing things. That's so much work. Ooh, that jump feels a little risky now. Okay. Um... expected to find up here. Bye. Huh. Why? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why, hello, a random amalgam of nightmares. How are you doing today? Huh? Hmm. 
Hmm. They really put it on a big ledge that's really easy to spot at a distance, didn't they? Then you can try to get in here and it's much harder to traverse. I think I remember this being the place that rained constantly, which would be a nightmare. It's got giant sheer cliffs. That I heard something weird. Well, you've seen it now. In moments like that, I have the exact opposite of, Dis of Disney princess energy. They scatter before me. I need to reach my friend! Oh. Trying to do something else. How is there always more of you? Okay. Uh, what do you want, buddy? We got separated. The same dialogue every time. Go back the way you came. Don't you want to do that? Oop. Oh. It's a shrine. Okay. I'll label the Korok, but... Let's meet up with these people and stuff. No, ordinary reachers can't. Vi oh, blah, 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 blah. Ordinary visitors can't reach it, but with a telescope or the like, you might be able to snatch a glimpse. Okay. All right, I'm skipping something important on accident. Whoops. Alright, well. That's my bad. You get used to such repetitive dialogue that you often want to just kind of like automatically skip through the, the familiar characters. Oh. My character, my horse is too big for customizations. Does that mean he can't use the towing harness? How do you use the towing harness? Is it that I, is, is it because I'm using the wrong horse? Horse God Fabric. Ah. So not another glider design. A few more points. So everyone else is also commenting on how it's just strangely not raining right now. Hey, you're an adventurer, aren't you? You've gotta be. You, you've gotta be to get out of here. I bet you come to see the strange creatures. Or maybe all the old ruins around this area? I'll tell you, this area has its challenges. That The heavy rains make steady footing hard to come by. Still, if you wander around, you never know what you'll find. Just don't let any lightning find you first. Oh, beetle. It doesn't usually have anything for me, though. I'm not usually in a hurry to sell my stuff lately. Okay, so I'm going to prioritize climbing right now because it's apparently not raining. Which is unusual. Uh, then one second later I did this because I'm full of lies. Never trust me. Listen, you don't understand that something moderately uh, distracting was right in front of me. 
I was powerless against it. Shortcut. I don't get to use these that this often outside of like puzzles or caves. Oh, these rocks are great for this. Oh god. Yes. We don't have to climb this whole thing. I'm here. Jo- it's the JoJo Shrine. I still need to watch season three. Or whatever the one is. That's- it. I've never met Stans yet. Building bridges. Joju u u This build- this bridge is already built. That's stupid. Be cool and do it yourself now. That was also stupid. Embarrassing. Cringe. Remember how that other bridge was cool? Yours is lame and embarrassing. It's floppy. Flaccid. Do you understand the problem yet? <laughs> no. I maybe did it. Your bridge is firm and has a healthy arch. It's not one of those weird ones that leans left or right. Do do do. Rock. Yes. Can I make you heavier? Not that much? It seems fine though, I guess. I guess we're done. <laughs> it's not the length of the bridge that matters, but whether you reach your destination. Experience travelers knows that there are other ways to accomplish your goals than only bridges. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Well, that was cute. <laughs> that was like comically straightforward that I didn't even have to think about it at all, but it was cute. I feel like shrines are less puzzly in this game so far, the ones that I've found. It's almost they almost feel like straightforward tutorials for a concept, or there's a lot of like battle ones. Oh. Hi. The fuck? <laughs> um? 
something's over there. And now it's raining. Therefore, it sucks. I'm not spotting any more glowing right now. What are they doing over here? It looks like that Pokemon. <gasps> Excuse me, but uh, you can't take that gem. Uh. That gem is precious. Is a precious clue to understanding Don Don's lives and habits. Mm. You'll have to bear w with me. It's a bit of a long story. One day, some luminous stones I'd picked up fell out of my bag. Before I knew it, a Don Don charged over, and then... Chomp chomp! It gobbled the luminous stones right up. Mm. These animals show no interest in food. And then luminous stones, of all things, sparked their hunger? I was shocked. After a while, we found gems on the ground where the Don Dons grazed. Those... are the gems. Where they came from... Remains a little uncertain, but I think the Dondons created them after eating the luminous stones. If that's the case, I might learn more about na the nature of the Dondons by studying those, so please don't take them. Oh no. That had to come out of them? Um. Don Don. Please don't explode me. Hey guys. My fr at first glance, I thought they looked like those roll that one rolling Pokemon, like armadillo th tire guy. Can't interact directly. <gasps> Banana. Uh. Still, you must have come quite a long way. Uh. Yeah. I've hated lightning ever since I was a child, but the Don don't even seem to flinch at the sound of thunder. They're unflappable. All this thunder and lightning, it's really fraying on my nerves. Maybe we should take shelter, go and watch the Don Dons while we wait out the storm. This is a sanctuary for Don Dons, the new animal species discovered by Princess Zelda. Don Dons are quite precious, as we've only found five of their kind in the wild. Please be gentle if you touch them. They might look intimidating, but you've got nothing to worry about. They're a good-natured sort. When the princess came to research the Don Dons, they used to go chomping around after her whenever she went. I think they're actually quite fond of us two-legged folk. Mm. That reminds me. Did you hear that rumor the Princess Zelda's been seeing riding a beast? Well, I'd bet that what people actually saw was her with her Don Don back when she established a sanctuary. Just goes to show you how much rumors can take on a life of their own. Don Dons aren't beastly, they're adorable. Uh. Oh my, you've taken an interest in Don Dons, hmm? I don't blame you. Only five of these little things have been seen in the whole world. Few have the chance to meet them in person. I promise, strange as they look, they're a good natured sort. They used to follow the princess around like little duck. This is all like a rephrased version of it. All right. So up. 
Yum, yum, yum. Now poop. to wait a certain amount of time or do you have to like fill them up enough like like a meter basically and then eventually they create something at least they do eat the luminous stones so that interaction happens I fed them for you. <laughs> Alright, bye. <laughs> uh, getting back to Yahaha is going to be a problem, isn't it? Ooh. So many free growing tomatoes. Rain is basically evil. Uh. Uh, made it. Okay. We still gotta drive that goober home. There's legitimately a lot of tomatoes here. I'd like to get a close look at the animals over there, but darn it all, they run off when people get close. Fascinating creatures. Stocky build, bulky animals, all of them. But I wouldn't give to get a closer look. Better yet to touch one. Oh, hi there. Didn't really notice you walk by, buddy. I've been looking across the way there. I wonder, are you curious about the unusual animals over there? Oh, so you're curious about them too. Then you must have a keen mind. Hmm. Those are a species of animals few have ever seen called Don Dons. She's taking care of them. Go talk to her. A giant white stallion. A horse god. The lake of the horse god. Oh, shit, this guy. Don't worry, buddy, I got your back. Ish. Yeah. 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 That's more like what I was going for. Yeah. Yeah. Good enough, I guess. We're letting go. No.
No! I finally failed. My hubris. <clears throat> Anyway, <laughs> easy fix. Might even fall over less if I turn it crooked. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. There we go. I'm so good at video games. Give me all of your food now. You owe me your lunch. You don't get to eat today. I did your work. That's how this works. Stormy meat rice balls. And you can redeem this ticket for one sleepover at my house. No strings attached. <laughs> that is just an entire wagon. Okay. Wait, is this a tutorial for the horse thingy? You scared me. Yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Anyway, bye. Just leave him stuck there forever. Okay, so let's try to put the bridle on my thing and see if I can drag the thing. Oh. Mm. Crying out loud. Of all the places those monsters could go, they decide to settle down in those caves? Our caves? I wonder if there's some way to chase them out of the sta for the stables. Bleh, for the stables' sake. Huh? Oh, hello, hello. So deep in thought, I didn't, I didn't notice you there. You didn't happen to uh, hear what I was saying, did you? Well, funny guy, don't pretend you weren't listening. Fine then, I won't tell you about it. <laughs> All right, well there's three caves that appeared around, around here after the upheaval. They're all up there. One's near Quarter Lake, one's near Rodi Lake, or was it by Kalora Lake? Huge deposits of luminous stone can be mined in those caves. So we're, they're popular for travelers, or they were. Then three giant monster brothers showed up. I somehow know they're related. Those three used to be over in Turin Pass in the northeast, but now they're in our region, hogging the caves themselves. Uh... If we don't do something, travelers will stop coming here. The business of the stable will dry up. Uh... And when? It's not as though they'll end up, oh, they'll up and leave. Hmm. New problems. Roto, champion, gestalt. Gestalt has maximum bond. Do not remember naming these horses. But Grotto was a name I used for Shadowrun? Hong Kong? Huh, so you just can't use these for the bigger horses, okay. I just mix them worse all the time. Good. go. All right. Yeah, I think this one's kind of like a, just like a wagon tutorial or a chance to do it. If I fuck this up, it'll, it's probably very funny, but it would also be a huge time sink to fix the problem. 
throw the Korok off the cliff. That looks suspicious. I might have to look back at that. Yeah, ha ha! Yeah. Oop. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. See you later. Okay. Okay, we passed some statues that had bananas set for offerings. Makes me wonder if I can spot one that doesn't have a banana in it and get a reward. Banana. Banana. Nary a nanner to be seen. That easy. And now all the bananas are mine. I'm Nancrilegious. Nancri. Eh. Eh. Eh.